Well, we can f finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Our game tonight featuring the Miami Heat as they go up against the Boston Celtics here in Boston. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. The day has finally arrived for basketball fans. It's opening day of a brand new NBA regular season. Nothing quite like the excitement of beginning the regular season, Kevin. It's one of my favorite days of the year, and this matchup here tonight should be a fun one. Now here's Pierce. Kicks it out to Allen. Five on the clock. O'Neal sets the screen for Rondo. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah, Rondo really knows how to maneuver his body contorted in an effort to draw fouls and so effective with that. Here's Wade. Over Allen. Wade misses. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Pass to Pierce. Allen against Wade. Allen inside. He gets that one. Refusing to let the defense overpower him that time. Allen showing you some strength on that move. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. The Celtics shooting their first free throw of the night. In the season ago, they hit about 75% of their free throws. And, you know, whenever they get into a stretch where it looked like maybe they would turn it around at the line, they would immediately take a step back. One shot. That free throw good from Allen. The, the jumper of Ray Allen is obviously just unreal, but that comes with practice and repetition. Ray puts up thousands of shots every day, perfecting his craft. Now here's LeBron, 16 feet away. The rebound by Garnett. The defense made an impact right there. Definitely got him uncomfortable going up with it. Garnett with a screen on LeBron. Offensive rebound. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And so just over a minute and a half played. Good ball movement here by Miami. Fades away. Again, the miss by the Heat. The Celtics have gone two or three here to start out the game. Pierce in the high post. Outside Rondo. O'Neal sets the screen for Rondo. Six on the shot clock. The Celtics need to get a shot off. The shot by Pierce, no good. For Miami, they've gone 0 of 3 from the field to start the game. Here's Arroyo. What a terrific move that was. There they go. Finally able to drop one in on their fourth try. The Celtics on offense. Outside Rondo. Down low. Allen shot is off. The Heat trail by three. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Pass to Wade. It's a pick by Elgowskis. Inside, Kevin Garnett with the steal. Allen with it. Wade picks him up. Rondo passes to O'Neal. 
and he converts the layup. It's a tall challenge trying to contain Shaq, especially when he's operating close to the basket. Now Arroyo. And here is James. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Shaq. Wow, wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. The Heat shooting their first shots from the free throw line tonight. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. Free throw drops for James. Now over two decades playing in the league, LeBron James continues to play at an amazing level. Remarkable. And the Heat making a change here. Chalmers has checked in. And both free throws. Good for James. First quarter of action. Just under three and a half minutes played. Pierce with it. No scoring in this one. Pulls up. Outside for Ronda. Garnett outside. And placed up. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. That's his second foul already, and that's going to force him to tone down his aggression defensively. Austin making a switch here. Davis has checked in. Haslam, he's checked in for the Heat. On the wing, James. Pierce covering. James kicks to Wade. Here's Chalmers. From deep, James. The rebound by Garnett. Garnett's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. And the pass to Rondo. With the drive. And stolen by Ogowskis. Oh, and a fast break for the Heat. Floats it up for James. An emphatic LU jam. And man, LeBron's taking things into his own hands with that alley -oop. Really impressive. Rondo kicks to Davis. Pass to Garnett. Unloads from 13. And it's Haslam with the rebound. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Ilgowskis is screen on Rondo. Here's against James from 20 feet out. And another basket for Miami. A whole textbook pick and roll there. James doing a great job breaking down the defense. Passes to Pierce. To the paint. Allen passes to Garnett. That one goes. Count it. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. And here's James. He'll bring it up for Miami. They trail by one. Pass to Wade. We've got 22 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. And again, it's LeBron with the three. James has got nine. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. Now here's Pierce. Nothing on the board. Allen for three. Earning accolades for his scoring. Wade doesn't always get the credit I think he deserves at the other end of the floor. This guy can lock you down, too. So at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Heat lead by two. Stay with us as we get set to bring you the second quarter right after this.
And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter, and we'll see what happens here in the second. And let's quickly break down the game we've been seeing from the Heat, guys. Just a terrific first quarter, sparked really by their unselfishness. Yeah, and you know, so many of their hoops came off an assist, which is a good sign of ball movement and sharing that ball. And the basket by Chalmers. Chalmers has got the lead up to four now for the Heat. Staying focused and staying with the shot. Chalmers locked in. Outside Robinson. Ray Allen is on the wing. Six to shoot. Back to Robinson. Three-pointer. It's hauled in by the Heat. This, of course, being game one of the season, is their first look at the Celtics. And they're facing the team that dismissed them from the postseason last year. So certainly a little payback in mind. We know that's in the past. You can't change that for sure. Nevertheless, a win would be sweet. Now here is Robinson. Still yet to score. There's the pass to Davis. And here is Allen. Trying to find Shaq. He's got it now. And finished off by O'Neal. And Allen showing good recognition on that play to set up a teammate for the basket. And Chalmers kicks to Hazel. Tipped away. It's stolen by Allen. And last season, Greg. Eight teams in the West won 50 or more games. The conference continues to be tough. The wild, wild West. I mean, what was it? Seven wins separating the eighth seed from the number one seed? It's not for the faint of heart. Here's Chalmers following the bucket by the Celtics. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. And a look now at the Boston Celtics' upcoming schedule. On Wednesday, they'll head out on the road and face the Cavaliers in Cleveland. Then on Friday, the New York Knicks come to town, tipping off a homestand for them. The free throw drops for Chalmers. You know, Chalmers can certainly be a playmaker, but he doesn't need the ball in his hands to make an impact. He's a solid defender and a really good spot-up shooter. Looking at who's out there now for the Celtics. Garnett, he's checked in for Shaq. Arjan Rondo is subbed in for Neat Robinson. The Heat also changing it up. Carlos Arroyo, he's checked in for James Jones. And it's Wade in for Mike Miller. He's as solid as it gets from the line. I mean, give him the opportunity. He's cashing in on those. Pass to Pierce. Here's Allen. Count it. Allen's got the game tied up here for the Celtics. Has the pure athleticism. Allen gets it done inside. Wade feeling it out a bit. Tries from 10. Good as the jump shot falls. Wade's got his first two points. And pro move there. Finds a way to gain some separation against the much taller defender. You know, your assumption would be that he'd be at a big disadvantage in that matchup, but you'd be assuming wrong. Now here's Allen. He has five. Pierce kicks to Garnett. The three from Davis. Hits it from three-point range. Davis has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The Heat have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Pass from a screen. This is a to Arroyo. Wade outside. Down low. It's stolen by Garnett. Outside Rondo. Outside Davis. Outside Pierce. Shot clock at five. Pass to Allen. I'm deep. And so the ball out of bounds. Bosch touched it last. Taking a look here at the numbers for Dwayne Wade. Coming off a terrific season. He was around 26 points per game. 
six assists and five rebounds. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. Anthony's checked in for Bosch. And it's LeBron in for Jalmer. Nobody near Allen. Drills it from outside. Allen's got eight points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. James in the post. Pierce on him. James, no good. Celtics leading by four. Allen dishes to Rondo. And there's the pass to Pierce. Back to run. Allen outside. Just five to shoot. The Celtics working the ball around now. Here's Davis. And a great assist by Allen as that one goes in. Allen's got four assists in the game. The Heat trail by six. Wade outside. Pass to Jane. To end the run. That shot off. Oh, man. You know he'd love to have that one over. 52 seconds left in the first half. Outside Rondo. Here's Garnett. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And you know, the length KG has creates problems for defenders, which is why they often foul him inside. The Celtics shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. Shoot two. First free throw is good. And that passion that Garnett plays with is really infectious. He's always talking and trying to get himself and his guys going. Here's what Miami's going with right now. Ilgauskas has checked in for Joel Anthony. And Bosch is subbed in for Haslam. Both free throws good from Kevin Garnett. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. And the first time out of the game called for the Heat. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Kendrick Perkins has checked in for Davis. LeBron against Pierce. And then Wade slams it in. Putting those passing skills to work. LeBron, truly a gifted passer. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. And out of bounds as the Heat gain possession. And so here is Miami. Six point game. Outside Bosch. Perkins against LeBron. 
and he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Yeah, three consecutive field goals have come right at the rim. The D had better start buckling now. For Miami, they have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. Free throw, no good for LeBron. Outside Rondo, and he feeds it to Garnett. Shoots over James. It's rebounded by Bosch. Puts up a deep three. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Austin on top, leading by four. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. It's a pick by Elgauskas. LeBron passes to Elgauskas. Count that one. Elgauskas has got the first points to start out the third quarter for Miami. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Celtics passing it around. A nice shot by Shaq. And then, guys, the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that trip. Now, Roy. LeBron left side and he could not get that one to go a lot of contact and he'll go to the line for two that's on Shaq yeah the defense has to be careful with LeBron I mean he's a clever shooter who knows how to draw fouls he uses his body really well he's shooting free throws number four and five here shoot two First free throw is good. Glenn Davis has checked in for Boston. Both free throws good from James. And so it's Rondo bringing it up for the Celtics. The lead is two. They can look forward to the Quick and Loans Arena after this game in a matchup against Cleveland. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And stolen by Ogowskis. Here's Wade. That misses had a chance to tie it there. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Rondo finds Pierce. Davis with a screen on James. It's Pierce with the drive. And there are the Celtics with another basket. Love the mid-range shot of Pierce, man. It is so consistent and reliable and fundamentally sound. Easily gets it up. Now here's LeBron. 13 points in the game. Shoots. LeBron going to work inside. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Now beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Yeah, I agree. You know, sometimes that can be a tough call for the refs to make, but not that time. It was easy there. Bosch, a screen on Pierce. And Chris Bosch with the slam. Bosch is so good at setting screens and rolling with purpose. He's got quick feet and tremendous agility. 
Rondo scanning the floor. To the middle. Pierce kicks to Rondo. Davis in the corner. Dishes it to Rondo. Four on the shot clock. Here's Garnett. It's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Garnett's got six. On a nice little roll here to start this half, connecting on their first three attempts. Here's LeBron. That shot missing. Excellent D there from Pierce. Zeldich have gone three of three from the field since halftime. Here's Davis and finished off by Davis. And his passing is probably the most underrated part of his game. Pierce is a terrific playmaker on that wing. Now here's James. 15 points in the game. LeBron James charging through contact. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in time tight out, time out. and finish. Time call here. The Celtics Sorry. decide to talk it over. change here. Chalmers has checked in. And taking a look now at stats for Pierce. He had a strong showing last season. Averaged about 18 points a game last season. Four rebounds and three assists. And every team wants a score to give them a lift off the bench. And, and that's just what he brings. Well he's instant in offense. I mean the game's momentum can be going one way then bam. The scoring turns the tide. Here's Allen. He's got eight. There's the feed to Rondo. Outside, Pierce. Garnett with the screen for Pierce. It's hauled in by the Heat. Passes it to Wade. James, left side. Puts one up from 19. The shot's good on the assist by Wade. Wade's got three assists in the game. For Boston, they've gotten four of their first five second half shots to fall. 80% since the break. Garnett outside. Back to Ronda. Here's the three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Bosch has got his fourth rebound in this one. Wade, right side. Stolen by Allen. Offside Rondo. Sinks the triple. Rondo's got five points so far. And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. And they've shown great focus on the defensive end, putting constant pressure on the ball and really disruptive in terms of what they've done defensively. And I've also noticed how opportunistic they've been off turnover, doing a really good job taking advantage of the opponent's mistakes. Now here's Rondo after LeBron James's miss. Garnett the pass to Allen. Count it and the foul. That's what's good. It's on Dwayne Wade. Yeah, and this is Allen's game. One of the quickest releases we've ever seen. Amazing shooting off that pass. Austin shooting their fourth attempt at the free throw line right here. And some changes here for the Celtics. Kendrick Perkins has checked in for Garnett. Robinson is subbed in for Rajon Rondo. And then for Miami, Haslam, he's checked in for Ogalskis. Miller comes in for LeBron. Eddie House subbed in for Dwayne Wade. And that one falls for Allen. The Heat trail by six. And Chalmers kicks to Haslam. Pass to House. Bosch is screwed on Allen. Feeds to Chalmers. Lock at six. Miller the pass to Chalmers. From outside the arc. Gets in coming off an assist from Miller. Seven points in the game. This team really relies on Chalmers knocking down three, spacing the floor. That's where he really brings some value. Two seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Here's against Miller. Outside Robinson. 
Davis with a screen on jump. Robinson, that's good. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I oh, oh, he oh, gets oh, this oh, before the hole. How about that? Wow, what a way to finish up the quarter. That's an impossible shot, man, even when you don't have the clock to worry about. Hmm. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game here. Celtics lead by three. We'll get right back to the action when we return. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. Inside. The kick out to Pierce. Launches from deep. Offensive rebound. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. Played outside. There's the pass to Arroy. Shot clock at six. And he's good on the three ball. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Yeah, they've had a great second half from long range. I mean, things are definitely starting to look up for them. Allen finds Robinson. Garnett wide open off the mark there with the three point shot. You know, defensively, you just can't afford to give him that much room. They're fortunate that he missed that one. Here's Arroyo. Here's Wade. And it's all evened up. Well, you see how Wade adjusts to whatever the defense throws at him? Strong finish there. The Celtics have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Robinson kicks to Pierce. Just over a minute and a half played here in the fourth. And no good that time. Excellent D there from Anthony. And man, is this team on a roll right now offensively, Greg. So fun to watch. They're playing with so much confidence, which is why they're tearing it up on this end. Wade can't hit. Austin's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Left side, Davis. Anthony against Pierce. Five to shoot. A jump hook in deep. Davis drops it in. Davis has got four points now in the quarter. You know, Davis right in his zone here. I mean, time out, time extremely out. comfortable throwing his body around inside. Now a timeout called by Miami. Shaq is checked in for the Celtics. Hondo comes in for Robinson. And then for Miami, Dogauskas is checked in for Joel Anthony. Bosch comes in for Haslam. And it's LeBron in for Mike Miller. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Well, during that break, Eric Spolster had some words for his team. Now he told his guys they can do this. And the huddle, he said, we've been here before and come back. So we know we can do this. We just have to believe. Inspiring words. We'll see if they live up to it, guys. Thank you, David. Add this game to LeBron's extensive career highlights. I mean, he's had plenty of big nights like this, but it never gets old. It's Allen on the win. On the arc. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Yeah, how about the percentage they're shooting from beyond the arc here in the second half? No question about it. They found a nice rhythm from deep. Arroyo. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. Royals got it all tied up now for the Heat. So it's Boston now. Rondo kicks to Pierce. It's Allen, top of the key, over Wade. Bosch grabs the miss. 
and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high impact defense they want to see out of him. I'll tell you what, he has been feeling it, guys, and the best game plan right now. It's elementary. Just keep feeding him. Let him eat. Here's Pierce. No good there. Great D that time from James. Wade drives in. Excellent D there from Garnett. And Joe Allen will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Pierce feeling it out a bit. Outside Rondo. Back to Pierce. Just four to shoot. On the high post, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Big shot from Pierce. This is the guy they turn to when they need a bucket. Elgaus is a screen on run. It's the way. And the layup's good off the glass. Wade's got four this quarter. And Wade, we trust in the big moments. This guy knows how to get it done by himself in the clutch. Here's Pierce. Pierce with another miss. The Heat with the lead. Wade outside. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Hey, Allen picks one up. Oh, the officials are all over that. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without foul. First one drops, and that makes it a three-point lead. This is exactly when you want the ball in Wade's hands. I mean, he's the type of player that really comes alive at crunch time. And he is unable to get the second one. And the confidence and flair that Wade plays with, uniquely his own. A dynamite two guard who is also a clutch performer. Here's the pass to Rondo. He feeds it to O'Neal. Good! And that shot brings them to within just one. Oh, you just love seeing a player with absolutely no fear. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game? Yes. With some art. Yes! Watch out. D. Wade has caught fire. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. They're trailing by three. 44 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Pierce. O'Neal got it. The big man has big game and big personality, so he is not afraid of the big moment. He gets it done in crunch time. Ogos gets a screen on front. Passes it to Wade. Over Allen. The shot by Wade, no good. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there. It wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Pierce. It's in. Pierce is all business. You can see it in his eyes. Now a timeout called by Miami. They're behind by one. There's 18 seconds left in the fourth.
screen against Allen. Pass to Ogalskis. Now Arroyo. the game winner. He knew it was good when it left his hand. He started celebrating as soon as it got off his fingertip. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. They break the hearts of every fan in the building with a dramatic late victory. And, and Kevin, this is the kind of win you have to take a ton of pride in. I mean, they battled with everything they had and came through when the pressure was at its highest. And that about does it for the first game of the new NBA season. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.